Hello everyone, Mark back here with another video for you. On this one, I want to go over um, a piece of equipment I picked up that I just figured what the heck um, came in with a kind of a, a package deal when I purchased uh, a, uh, a Trangia. Um, and what I want to do is just kind of review it real quick. I've noticed some good things, but I've also noticed a lot of bad things in my opinion. And I want to just kind of go over these with you real quick. Uh, you guys can judge for yourself, but uh, I think you'll pretty much agree with what I'm saying for the most part. Um, anyways, this is the uh, Trangia. This is the box that came in. Um, picked this up on Amazon. Uh, packaging's great. Uh, but I hope you can speak German. Because if you try to read any of the paperwork that's with it, unless you speak German, it ain't going to do you one bit of good. Well, I can only say certain phrases. I can't read it or carry a conversation. Anyhow, uh, on with the review. Uh, we don't need the box for this. Um, this is this is the stove. Okay, and I want to go over this thing with you. Uh, in reference, here's my hand. I'm sorry I don't have a tape measure handy. Uh, I'm not going to go to those kind of details. But you can see the rough size of it. Okay, it's, it's fairly thick. Um, and it's got these little wings that are cut out of it and bent up all right it's pretty darn big it does not come with any kind of a case for it no way to to uh, transport it nicely uh, first thing I would like to say about this thing is I don't like it for me it's not gonna work uh, first of all these little guys here are in the way uh, without a proper way to secure this thing these little guys are gonna cause problems and damaging other equipment um, it's big, it's bulky. Um, we'll go over a couple other things with it. Uh, uh, the Trangia, real quick, like, uh, majority of you guys know what it is. You already use them. Some of you don't. Uh, this is a handy, uh, fuel-burning stove. These are wonderful pieces of equipment that can be used in tight spaces where you can't use, uh, things like, uh, wood-burning stoves or things like that. Uh, so... This is pretty nice. This one comes with a simmer ring. Uh, it's real nice stuff. It comes with a simmer ring here, which you can adjust your flow. You know, how high you want your flame, how hot you want it, so to speak. It's pretty nice. Um, of course, it comes with an airtight lid. And then your container itself. Sorry, it was upside down. Which you just fill it at three quarters full with, with uh, denatured alcohol. And this thing will run about 15 minutes. Uh, great for boiling water, cooking a fast meal. All uh, these things are awesome. I recommend everybody should have one. So uh, if you don't have a Trangia, guys, throw it in your pack. Get one. These things are wonderful. I suggest getting these things and combining them with a, a, uh, bu a like a bush box, um, a Vargo um, uh, hexagon uh, cooker, uh, anything like that that's a uh, solo uh, stove, any of those multi-functional uh, stoves and cookers that uh, can provide windshield as well as uh, as cook surface. Uh, you can use a lot of them. You can use the ones I've mentioned. You can use wood. Uh, the Solo uh, is a uh, gasifier stove, which you can use both this and wood. And it's a freaking awesome stove. It's actually a copy of what's known as a bush uh, a bush box. Um, but anyways, on with this uh, about the stand. Trangia, wonderful. If you don't have one, buy one. Buy two. They're great. Okay, anyhow, on with this. This little guy, the reason why I'm saying, guys, that I do not like this. Um, I am not going to use this. Uh, this will be a gift to someone if they feel like they want it. The reason being for me personally is, this is a little collection of some of my gear. Alright. Here is my guy out water bottle. Okay. My Vargo bot, my bottle pot. There is my U.S. Army uh, canteen cooker set. All right. So, and my zebra belly pot. Inside of here, I've got nested a drinking cup. All right. This is not the GI Sci model. This is just a Ozark Trail. Uh, six dollar cup from Walmart. Nice heavy duty stainless steel and it works great. Okay, um, 
all right here's what I'm trying to get at about this why I don't I don't want this is that I only have basically one option and that is to use my billy pot all right this is a 12 centimeter billy pot fix great no problem all right it's gonna cook fine but I also have other gear all right if I just want to cook warm up some soup in a cup you know it's not gonna work it is absolutely not gonna work there's that cup Here's my Vargo. It's not going to work. See what I mean? That is not going to work. Here's my my Vargo. Uh, sorry, that was my guy. I, here's my Vargo bottle pot. Okay? Look at this. Will not fit. Not going to work. Okay? Here is my military cup. Alright? Not going to work. Simply not going to work. Nothing here will do it unless you are running something large like a bush pot or, you know, some of your um, your, your camping gear uh, uh, skillets and cooking pots in that manner. But it's going to have to be this darn big. I mean, you're looking pretty darn big area. I mean, to me, it's not worth it. I have other gear besides just a billy pot. If I, like I said, if I just want to warm up a bottle of water to make some soup, I don't want to have to break out the billy pot. I just want a helping of soup. So, anyhow, my review on this is, it's a great idea. Thank you, Trangia. And for some people, it is wonderful, and it will work great for them. For me, for what I'm looking for in compactness and the ability to nest things together to conserve space, this is not going to work. So with my review on this is, I can't recommend this product. Uh, I just can't. It's nice, but I can't recommend it. Uh, it's, it's too non-versatile. But anyways, um, I hope you like the review. Maybe uh, some of you will understand what I'm getting at. And I hope you appreciate it. Uh, thanks guys, and I'm looking uh, forward to any comments you guys might have towards the review. Thanks guys, take care.